Nick, um, again, you give up a 40 point first quarter and get yourself in you know, a 34 point hole at one point. What? What are you seeing as that's unfolding? What's your troubles in that regard? Well, that was just, um, you know, I think a team uh, in uh, the Lakers coming in here knowing we were on a back-to-back -back and, and they were going to try to steamroll as fast as they could up the floor and play as ultra-physical. And, um, you know, again, it's and, it, and everything kind of went flip-flop on us, Doug. I think, you know, they made like all their first six, six of their first seven threes and we were 0 for 7 and – and it wasn't much difference in the shots. So everything was kind of going, going um, speed of the game was fast and physical in their favor and the shooting was in their favor. So we found ourselves in a big hole. And the altercation with uh, OG and Schroeder and then Harold getting in, how did you see it play out? I guess it was right across the court from you guys. Yeah, I didn't see too much, Doug, to be honest with you. I, I, I saw the, the, you know, the, the kind of wrap up of the foul. Um, and then, then it kind of exploded and I didn't really get a chance. I got over there. I, th I thought, uh, you know, from, well, it doesn't matter. I mean, <laughs> I, know, I, know. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. I, I, I was surprised. I didn't see, uh, I didn't even see Harold involved. So that shows you how much I saw. I didn't even know he was, when they came over and said he was ejected, I was like, well, what was he doing? And, and um, so that shows you what, what I saw. I was, I mean, I thought, I thought that probably stemmed from about two or three plays in a row earlier. That were it was ultra physical, man. It was just you know slamming into bodies there the the, the early parts of the game. So, um, you know that hap that happens. It's unfortunate it happens for for both teams and and everything. Um, you know you gotta try to get that stuff. You know you don't want that to happen, Doug. You know you don't. If I can sneak one more win. Who's your guy on the bench to keep your players from joining it? Because he might have saved you some guys for Thursday for a pretty big game. Yeah, I mean, we're we're all like the the entire like I'm supposed to get in there, right? I'm supposed to get in there and put my life on the line, Doug. <laughs> and the assistants are supposed to seal off, make sure none of our players enter the the you know out of the the guys that aren't in the game, right? That's probably what Harold. I don't know if he was in or not, but I think they said he escalated it. Um, so anyway, well, you don't um, have one designated. Some teams have one designated guy, one designated assistant as the arms out kind of guy <laughs> we, we we have a a team of safety patrolmen there Doug, saying do not cross right thanks Nick. appreciate yep. it we'll talk to you thursday probably yep we'll go to josh hey nick even after uh watching the og thing a few times it's hard to figure out what happened there uh, initially did you get a chance to talk to him either when it happened on the bench or after the game it did he say not yet. what happened not yet josh not yet. I have not asked. I have not asked him about it yet. And then uh, nine guys for you available going into the game, eight guys for most of it. Um, how tough is that on the second night of a back to back to have to manage? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. And again, I think you had a, I had a, a super motivated team, you know, they were, they were super motivated to, to play better than they'd been playing maybe. And, uh, you know, they, they kind of, Again, they saw the you know we put a lot into last night's game, somewhat emotional and a lot and a lot to to pull that one off coming from from back, way back in that one too, right? Um, but but I would say this, Josh, I'm super proud of of what what we what we did after digging a hole. I mean, it's going to happen sometimes. It's going to happen sometimes when you're on a back to back or it's just one team starts making a ton of threes and you don't. Right. And, and what are you going to do then? And I, I was I thought I was I was proud of our fight. I thought we started moving our feet better. You know, I just didn't think we quite had a moving early. Right. The, the transition up the floor, even the side to side, just keeping the ball in front a little. But that improved like midway through the second quarter. That all of a sudden got better and kind of remained that way for the game. Um, and I thought we fought really hard. I, re I really do. I'm, I'm really proud. I know I know it's like. So uh, it might be silly to say, but I'm proud of the effort, right? They could have folded up the tents and said, oh, we only got eight guys. We're on a back-to-back. -back. We're getting killed. They didn't. And and I and I think that, I know it didn't ever get really close, but I thought there was a couple plays that, that could have snuck that thing down to 15 really early. You know, DeAndre dunk, probably a foul. DeAndre again, probably a foul. He gets teed up, and, and, and it's still a 20-point game, and that should, you know. So, again, proud of the effort and the fight. Um, considering the circumstances, uh, we'll get a day off tomorrow to rest and, and hopefully we can get some juice in those legs and, 
maybe get a body or two back, although I'm, I'm not um, that hopeful of that quite yet. Thanks, Nick. Have a good night. Yep. Thank you. We'll go to William. Hey, Coach. Um, hey. Obviously, defense was a struggle at the start of the game for you guys, but, um, you know, as the game went on, you cycled through a lot of your, you know, kind of Nick Nurse classics, uh, a lot of zone defense, a lot of full court pressuring. Out of all the defenses you tried, did you see one that really stood out to you and that it was effective? Yeah, so so we haven't played as much of um, our 3-2 zone this year. Um, we've played more 2-3, and 3-2 and was kind of all we played maybe a couple years ago um, with, a, with a tweak here or there maybe when a team would uh, park somebody in the middle and it just kind of shaped it into a 2-3 or something. So it was good to see that. Um, and, and we used, you know, Gary was, was – uh, the top of it there for a while and he hasn't really played it so we're kind of coaching it in the timeouts and on the fly and they did a good job with that I thought they were they were together with it they got a a bunch of stops uh in it so that was probably the best one and it's too bad too I don't really remember the score but it seemed like it was like 17 and we pressed them for the first time and we stole the ball and had like three guys ahead of us and uh um we turned it right back over and they came down and hit a three to make it 20 it looked like we were on our way to making it 15 with you know about eight minutes to go so that was that was another unfortunate little play tonight too and uh, on the subject of zone you know obviously last year you had like two very veteran centers in Serge and Mark who could always sort of captain and sort of play you know new schemes and things like that um have you sort of missed that experience factor from them because it seemed like today for example like I think you guys went to zone in the first quarter. I think Mark immediately recognized it was a zone and set a screen for or something like that and, and got the Lakers into a basket. Do you well, miss that experience? Yeah, I mean, listen, he's we talked about it before the game. He's he's seen it all, right? For a number of years. He's extremely smart and he's very in tune to the game at all times, right? He you know, and plus it was right in front of our bench and he could he could he could he could, he could see me calling it out and he knew it was coming and and um and he's such a good passer up there right he, he presents such a threat and then tonight he you know made what, what did he about made about every shot he took didn't he six out of nine felt like he made them all yeah so and 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 at the other end he's the same put him he's a good help defender and and, and all that kind of stuff too all right well thanks coach yeah you're welcome thanks william we'll go to aaron hey nick i have a, a bit of a strange one for you but hopefully you'll uh, allow me um, that coach's challenge you had in the final seconds, I think the game was maybe a little out of hand. And I'm wondering if that's just about being right or if you're trying to send a message to your team that maybe like you guys didn't give up, so I'm going to not give up. I don't know if I'm reading too much into it or wh why did you challenge well, that play? It was, it was probably reading a little too much into it, but it was fairly obvious that we took the ball and we didn't touch them. I know, I know the game's out of hand, but, you know, What's right is right, right? <laughs> right. All right. Uh, that's all I got okay, for you. Thank Thanks. you. Yep. Uh, one more for you, Coach. We'll wrap up. Hello, Coach. Hi, Takeshi. How are you? Hi. So can you just give us a the general impression of how you have played tonight? He was good again tonight, right? Thought he, thought he played good. He had... He had, um, you know, some good finishes on the glass, really good defensively. Uh, I can only really remember one time he got beat and he, and he just, he just, he was really, really trying hard and applying pressure and the guy got past him. But other than that, he kept his guy in front of him all night. Would have loved to have seen him knock down a couple of those threes. Right? He, had, he had some good chances there, but he, he played extremely well tonight. It's good to see. And uh, now how, how hopeful are you for you know, making it to making back to back to the playoff contentions. You know, you guys have the, the game against the Chicago Bulls. Yeah, they're just big one. Ten, ten yeah. teams. So yeah, it's a big one. Obviously, I think we got a couple big ones this week against teams right around us, right? Chicago and and Cleveland. Um, I mean, listen, I'm I'm still hopeful. I, I think um, we're gonna need you know, some of our bodies back to Keshi, I think, right? We're missing a good good chunk of our of our of our lineup and scoring and, and experience, right? But uh, I'm pleased with you know, you gotta go out there with what you have available and I'm pleased with the way these guys are playing and we'll just we'll just keep fighting and trying to pick any any win off we can any way we can. 
and then see if we can just stay in contention. There's a 20 plus games to go. So a lot of basketball to be played.